denial of their right to move, their right to marry, their right to work, their right to health care and education, renders them amongst the most vulnerable people on the planet. Refugees move back home when it is safe and secure to do so. The Rohingya cannot return to the very conditions they were forced to flee. They cannot settle for half solutions. They must know that they belong. A clear pathway to full citizenship is essential. This is not a luxury. This is not a privilege. This is a basic right that all of us here enjoy. A right that the Rohingya do not have. It is clear that conditions are not yet met for the safe, voluntary, dignified and sustainable return of Rohingya refugees to their places of origin or choice. And I ask members of the Security Council to join me in urging the Myanmar authorities to cooperate with the United Nations and to ensure immediate, unimpeded and effective access for its agencies and partners. But we all accept this crisis is complex and has deep roots. It will not be solved overnight. But let us also be clear, it will not be solved without continued engagement and action from this Council. So as we mark one year on from the violence of August 2017, this Council should shoulder its responsibility and do justice to the gravity of their attacks on the Rohingya community. We should not be just discussing and debating. We need to be acting, acting to bring an end to the appalling ethnic cleansing, to help those suffering refugees and bring justice for the victims of these appalling crimes. How are you, Baba? I'm from Malaysia. Yes, how are you? I need your favor of you going to meet you in this kind of Malaysia thing, inshallah. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Siobhan McDonough and I am uh, the ch uh, chair of the all-party parliamentary group for the Ahmadi Muslim community. I am shocked and appalled uh, at the attack at your offices in Rabwa, Pakistan and at the attack of, on your Chakwal Mosque. Um, and uh, as, a, as, a, as the chair of the group, um, I have written to the British Foreign Secretary to ask him that the government do everything it can to convey in the strongest possible terms its concern to the government of Pakistan. I have also written on behalf of the uh, APPG to ask that we meet the uh, Pakistan High Commissioner to the UK to also convey our dismay um, and our um, demand uh, that the Ahmadi community in Pakistan be treated properly and be subject to the same rule of law as everyone else. I have the privilege of representing a number of Ahmadi families in my constituency and I know how distressed they will be at these atrocities that are taking place in Pakistan and, and how outraged and hurt they will be at the attack on the mosque. It's high time the Pakistan government took, a, took action to prevent this kind of behaviour, to find the perpetrators and bring them to justice. And I hope the British government will make representations to the Pakistani government that that needs to happen and that it will be supported if they do. I am very concerned about the situation of the Ahmadi community and the persecution and the murder of Ahmadis in Pakistan. I am aware um, that this is not a new phenomenon, that the community has been persecuted for many, many years, but recent events have deteriorated and the situation is now something which has to stop. 
the Pakistani government has to take stronger action and the international community has to assert the strongest possible pressure to say to the Pakistan government you have a duty and a responsibility to protect all your citizens of whatever faith and we should also end the hate against the Ahmadis which is perpetrated not just in Pakistan but globally and we saw the terrible murder in Glasgow and we have seen other incidents in this country where Ahmadis even in the United Kingdom are threatened. I believe that the British people and the British government should do more and the British government should speak strongly and forcefully in whatever channels it has to say that the Ahmadis deserve the right to be able to practice their religion and to go about their lives without threats and without persecution. Clearly the situation for the Ahmadi community in Pakistan is deteriorating. Uh, we've seen a, a couple of weeks ago a, an attack on your headquarters and more recently we've seen an attack on the mosque in Chukwal. Uh, I've already raised parliamentary questions, written parliamentary questions about these issues in Parliament. I know there's a cross-party initi initiative uh, being led by Siobhan Madonna to, to raise the issue with government. We need to see firm action from the UK government on this and also we need to make very strong representations to the Pakistani High Commissioner here uh, that this is unacceptable behaviour. The UK Parliament has a significant role in defending human rights, in defending uh, the rights of any faith community anywhere around the world to express itself freely. Uh, we must up uphold that right and be willing to speak out when necessary. These things should not be happening and I call on the Pakistan government to, to, to take every step to stop these things happening and, and treat everybody with proper humanity and care. And the British government also has a role to stand up for uh, proper behaviours abroad and I hope that they will do that. I really regret and condemn the attack on the Ahmadiyya headquarters in Rabwa and also the, mo the mob violence outside the Chakwa Mosque as well. These are peace people that are trying to um, live their lives and express their religious views in a peaceful, uh, quiet way and they should be allowed to do that. We should be tolerant of all religions and none and I hope these people can live their life peacefully and so I'd urge the Pakistani authorities to condemn such violence, condemn such arrests as well that's happened in Rabwa and let, them, uh, let the Ahmadiyya community worship freely. And the events over the last week um, ha have really shocked, I think, not only myself but others. Um, the raid on, on the headquarters um, in Rabwa and also the, the, um, the thousand plus mob attack on the uh, mosque in the Chakwal district in the Punjab. Um, I think this is an orchestration of, of um, an attack, an orchestrated attack on the Ahmadian community. Um, when I was speaking um, uh, 10 days ago at the event in Glasgow, the peace symposium that the Glasgow Ahmadian community um, set up, um, I spoke about religious freedom, um, freedom of expression, freedom of association, and this is a clear example of religious persecution um, that the, the Ahmadian community are not allowed to practice their religion in Pakistan. Now, it's being condemned by me today, but it will be condemned across the house and also across the world. The world will sit up and take notice. And I think that the motto, love for all, hatred for none, it's not just love for all, it should be tolerance for all, respect for all, and also justice for all. And my thoughts go out to everybody that has been caught up in these events over the last week and we pray that everybody else is, is kept safe from further attacks.